Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today the question is, what is neuroticism? Now, when I refer to the word neuroticism, I'm referring to neuroticism as we see it in the big five model personality, the five-factor model. And in this model, personality traits can be explained in five dimensions. Neuroticism, openness to experience, conscientiousness, agreeableness, and extroversion. So neuroticism is one of these personality traits, and it's characterized by emotional dysregulation or high emotional reactivity. So somebody who scores high in neuroticism would have a more negative response to frustration or loss than somebody who would score low in neuroticism. So there's also here in neuroticism a tendency to experience negative feelings. In particular, anger, depression, anxiety, worry, and fear. Self-esteem is usually an issue for individuals who are high in neuroticism as well. They tend to have lower self-esteem. There are also some risks that come along with a high score in neuroticism. There is a higher risk of physical health problems, mental health problems, a higher risk of feeling low satisfaction in life, and having more difficulty in marriages. Also, work performance is an issue for many who score high in neuroticism. They tend to have lower job performance and tend to respond to stress in a more negative way. So when we think of neuroticism at the low end, what we see there is emotional stability and not being upset as easily, a tendency to experience fewer negative feelings. Now interestingly, when there is a lower score on neuroticism, that's not tied to positive feelings. That's just fewer negative feelings. When we think of someone that has more positive feelings, oftentimes we're referring to the concept of extroversion, the personality trait of extroversion. So with neuroticism, we typically see a decrease as somebody grows older. So neuroticism tends to decrease, of course not always, and in unusual instances can increase. That's not usually what we'd expect to see. What can somebody do if they're high in neuroticism? Well, a personality trait is considered fairly stable. And even though neuroticism does tend to decrease a little with age, overall it's fairly stable. So you can think of a personality trait in terms of changing something around it is more about changing the behavior and not about changing the personality trait itself. Although there is some evidence that if you change the behavior, the personality trait does change a little bit. So we think of high neuroticism, we think of improving coping skills, trying to react in a more balanced way to stressors, avoiding substances because individuals who have a high neuroticism score are more vulnerable to substance use disorders. And there's evidence that some people with high neuroticism, particularly if they have high conscientiousness, another personality trait, they can channel their anxiety in a more positive way, in a more productive way. Another interesting point for individuals who score high on the neuroticism personality trait is studies have shown they tend to evaluate evidence more critically and more accurately suggesting that individuals who are low on eroticism tend to see things maybe too positively, more positively than is realistic. So somebody who's high in neuroticism tends to be more realistic. Now with that, of course, comes the risk of looking at things over negatively. But in general, individuals who are high in neuroticism have an advantage in this area. They tend to be more realistic when evaluating evidence. I hope you found this description of neuroticism to be interesting. Thanks for watching.